Good, Good morning, morning Falcons. Falcons. I'm Bill Schaefer. And I'm Deb Cole. Coming up, FBLA Awards. Also, an interview with Mr. Lambros. CCHS Today, CCHS Today starts now. now. An Air Force recruiter is coming to visit on Tuesday, April 16th at 10 a.m. in the library. This is a sit-down conversation with the recruiter to learn about what is involved in joining and what opportunities and expectations there are as a member of the United States Air Force. This visit can be used to fulfill a requirement for your senior project. If interested, please sign up at the College and Career Center desk in order to obtain a pass for the meeting. Students, are you interested in a career in welding? Or maybe you aspire to be an engineer and want to know where you can do an internship while in college. If you are, then you will want to learn more about the Philly Shipyard. They offer an excellent apprenticeship program, as well as engineering internships. A company rep will be visiting Cedar Crest on Thursday, April 18th at 10 a.m. If you want to attend this informative meeting, sign up ASAP at the College and Career Center desk in the library. Hershey Park is still hiring for the summer 2024 season and is looking to hire you to join their sweet team. There are positions for ages 14 and up. You can apply, interview, and get hired on the spot for part-time positions. Meet at Hershey Park's employee entrance to the Coaster Cafe from 4 to 6 p.m. on Tuesday, April 16th. If interested on how to RSVP to attend this event and to secure your interview, you can pick up an informational flyer at the Jobs Available Board under the skylight in the 100 hallway. Students in grades 9 through 11 who may be interested in a career in aviation. There is a summer aviation camp that will run from June 12th through June 14th at the Lancaster Airport. The camp is free and lunch will be provided. If you are interested in learning more about challenging and well-paid careers as a pilot, mechanic, engineer, or an air traffic controller, then you will not want to miss this awesome opportunity. Space is very limited, so you must register early. Stop by the College and Career Center desk in the library to pick up a flyer today. Freshmen, you should have received an RNK sub-fundraising sub form in homeroom. If you did not receive a form from your homeroom teacher, be sure to stop by the Class of 2027 bulletin board across from Mr. Schulteis' classroom for extra fundraising forms. The order form will be due to Ms. Shirey in room 510 on April 19th. Remember, these fundraisers help lower the cost of your prom and class trip, so unless you want your prom and gym and class trip to the tennis courts, make sure you are participating and selling those subs. The senior class trip will be held Monday, June 3rd, to Ocean City, New Jersey. Sign-ups will be from April 19th to the 29th before homeroom, 715 to 45, or after school, 230 to 245, outside of room 207. Please come out and support the senior class next Thursday, April 16th, at the Gin Mill for a restaurant night. The Gin Mill is donating 10% of their sales when you come between 5 and 830 for pickup or dine-in. Congratulations to Mackenzie Minnick on her election as the 2024-2025 PA FBLA State Treasurer. In addition, congratulations to Lila Stutzman on placing third in the state in spreadsheet applications and qualifying to participate in the National Leadership Conference in Anaheim this summer. Ava Stutzman placed seventh in the state in job interview. Way to go, CCHS FBLA. Key Club members, make sure to check your signup.com for volunteer opportunities. Many new projects have been added this week. Please remember that the Key Club requirement is 20 hours of service during the second semester. Now, over to Nick with sports. Good morning, Falcon Nation. Anyone interested in trying out for cheerleading during the 2024-2025 school year can pick up an informational flyer in the main office or outside of Coach Boger's room, 202. See Coach Boger with questions. The Falcon boys tennis team improved their overall record to 10-1 with wins the last two days. Yesterday, the Falcons swept E-Town with a score of 5-0. V. Seth Mang, Joe Shkreli, and Ben Sheffield took all three singles points. Ike Wolf and Nate Mang were victorious at the first double spot. Keegan Paulquette and Ethan Raider swept the number, number two double spot in straight sets. And on Wednesday afternoon, the Falcons swept CV by a score of 7-0. Mason Pahevitz and Ted Doan won their first varsity doubles match with a convincing straight set victory. This was a day to celebrate the Falcon seniors. Ben Sheffield earned a convincing 6-0, 6-0 win at the number two doubles. Finn Royer and Colin Aiken played some outstanding tennis to take a 6-1, 6-0 victory. Finn continues to remain undefeated in varsity play. Congrats to the seniors and thanks for all you've done for Cedar Crest Tennis. Both, both the varsity and JV lacrosse lost last night to Hempfield. JV lost a close game 5-7. 
Goals were scored by Sam Yordy, Taylor Woods, Ava Capwell, Eva Zimmerman, B.B. Smith, and Mikaelin Weber split the time in the net. Varsity lost 4-16. Goals were scored by Olivia Ryland, Avery Lechleitner, Riley Leitner, and Caitlin Blunt Brenner. Viola Bierman was in the net. Come out and support the girls in our senior night game on Tuesday against Ephrata. The Cedar Crest Falcon boys volleyball team took on the Hempfield Black Knights last night. The boys battle ended with earning them the win, 3-2. The scores went 21-25, 25-22, 25-15, 15-25, and they ended it off with a 19-17 win. Aiden Bukovic led the team with 21 kills. Cody Kirkuslater, Kirkuslager had 48 assists. Aaron Walters with four blocks and Jack Wolgamuth with 22 digs and one ace. Join the team on Monday as they face Daniel Boone at home, JV at six and Varsity at seven. Now back to the desk with lunch. Today's lunch is Philly cheesesteak, pepper and onions, curly fries, and assorted toppings. Coach Lambros has always been a part of our Falcon football team and now he's seen a promotion. Asher Ford and Nick Lambros interviewed our new head coach on his promotion. Coach Lambros has solidified himself as a longtime Falcon. From offensive line coach to defensive coordinator, he has made his mark on the program. But now, he is head coach, and he is looking to bring success to his alma mater. It means a lot. It, uh, it's something that I always wanted to, something I always wanted to do as a, even as a player is to give back. And uh, now to have this position, I mean, I hold it in, I hold it in a high, high level of reverence because it's, it meant so much to me. I love the game. I love teaching the game to kids. I love seeing kids become better, becoming more than what they were because of the game. I want them to be the best versions of themselves. I really do. I, I, I want them to maximize their abilities. I want them to work hard and learn what, you know, what hard work does for not just on the football field, but you know, how it changes you as a person. You know, you don't shy away from things that are difficult anymore because you're so used to so much adversity playing football. We're going to have our 7-on-7 7 -7 interactions. We're going to have our team camp at LVC. We're still going to commute there. Love going there. You know, we're going to have our morning lifting sessions and, and morning football workouts. You know, we're going to we're going to continue on with what we've done. Like I said, just adding a little bit more to it. Every year, Cedar Crest football brings in a tough schedule. This is no different from the 2024 Falcons. Coach Lambros tells us which games he is most looking forward to. Week one, you know, week one, not just, you know, Lower Dolphins, a good, a good football team, good football program. Um, they're well coached and it's going to be my first game. So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Reporting for CCHS Today, I'm Nick Lambros. That's all for your morning announcements today. I'm Lil Schaefer. And I'm Deb Cole. Make, Make it, it a great, great day, Cedar Crest. Crest.